All right, let's go for a drive. So if you've modified your exhaust on your truck or car, you know that drone is an issue. This truck specifically loves to hang out about 2,500 RPM, going up a couple hills uh, where I'm at, where I tend to drive a lot, and the truck just sits there in that gear. Even if I'm accelerating or just maintaining speed, it's very loud. So we're going to put a quarter wave resonator on the exhaust system today and we're gonna modify it in such a way with some science and some math. We're gonna be measuring the decibels, we're gonna be measuring the um, frequency, the, the hertz at which that tone is being made, and we're also gonna be monitoring the uh, RPM at which it's most prevalent. So there's a free app you can download on your phone. There's an Excel sheet that I, um, kind of stole off of another uh, YouTuber. I'll link him below. Uh, he had it's a really cool video, but it's a bit longer, so I wanted to make this a little bit shorter to show you guys how to do it yourself. And if you got a five cylinder, that uh, Excel sheet didn't have that. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's gas up and go for a ride. I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> I ain't that rich. So I'm gonna run up to uh, one of the little streets I typically drive on that uh, it's got a fairly decent long incline. Let's uh, let's turn the corner here and we'll head up the road. Let's go back to the shop and I will let the exhaust cool down and I will show you guys on the computer what's going on with the Excel sheet and the calculations you need to do to figure out how long this quarter wave resonator pipe needs to be and then uh, we'll head out to the shop and make it. So full disclosure, I screwed up the Excel sheet. I calculated the five cylinder formula but I didn't pull it down the other RPMs so literally shot this video yesterday afternoon cut the pipe welded it all that fun stuff to only realize that I still had the V8 length numbers in the five cylinder column so I fixed that I bought a new exhaust tube uh, you guys are gonna see kind of the DIY flavor and you guys are gonna see the kind of just buy the piece of pipe from the shop um, bent piece of tubing um, so I obviously I have to cut the old one off I have to weld the hole back into the uh, the exhaust and then uh, re-weld um, that to the pipe and whatnot so this right here you guys are gonna see up on the screen is the Excel sheet basically we want our RPM frequency is what we want to uh, mitigate we obviously have a five cylinder motor that nets at about a 104.166667 hertz we did the kind of barbecue um, thermometer test on the exhaust pipe that gave us about a 530 degree measurement here so we got 462 474 so i put that at 470 just to kind of split the difference and from there that gives us a calculation down here at 2500 gives us a 44.4 inch long tube yesterday i cut it at 27 inches that would have been you know at i don't know 4000 rpm 
that's not where the drone is. So now that we have the correct formulas, I can pull the truck back into the driveway, I can pull the exhaust back out, and then um, cut the old pipe off and re-weld it. So I'm gonna do that now. That's a little bit different than the 27-inch uh, pipe from yesterday. So this uh, should work. I've got a hard uh, end right about here-ish. Um, I could probably keep on going over the axle, but uh, that's kind of where I'm stuck with. Um, I've got to figure out where the 44 inches is at from wherever I decided to cut this off at. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So let's get this marked, measured, cut, and uh, measured, marked, and cut. That'll be better, huh? And uh, We'll get it welded up. That was easy. All right, let's go. Uh, go see what this sounds like. Might need to do the brakes next video. Well, the exhaust should be. Uh, sufficiently warmed up now. We're just turning the corner up to the hill that I've been testing on and uh, that's 2500 right there. It's pretty quiet in here. I'm at 2500 right now. You know you get 27, 28, you start to hear it but it's really like caught this light again that's nuts that's just the first little half of the hill I got a light here I'm gonna turn this around and I'll show you guys what the spectroid apps looking like there's 25 much louder at 27 not doing this just for the video like I figured it would work but I didn't think it would work but I'm kind of surprised that it did work that's 2500 right there like it's noticeably different what's the we almost knocked off maybe 10 decibels off of that so I I didn't think this was going to work anywhere near as well as it did. Um, it's probably really hard to see on uh, video and hear the audio out of these microphones, the difference. Hopefully I can uh, be able to show you a side by side in there. Hopefully um, I'm able to put a side by side of the two sounds back and forth. And Dude, it is quiet in here. Holy crap use the link that I put below for the Excel sheet. I fixed the five cylinders. So if you do have a Colorado at H3 and want to do this modification to your exhaust system or ask your um, local mechanic, uh, local exhaust shop to uh, put a resonator, quarter wave resonator on your exhaust system, um, you guys can use that calculator. You can give that to them, have them cut the piece of pipe and put it in, package it properly. Um, it stands to reason that you could do this on multiple RPMs. Um, on the same motor because that one tube will only cancel that one uh, frequency at that given RPM. So, you know, if you've got something where it's, you know, 1500 RPM, you can calculate that on the uh, Excel sheet. You can type in your temperature and your hertz and your everything, run it down to the 1500 or whatever and build yourself another tube. If you've got two different kind of pain points where it's you know 1500 to 2000 RPM or whatever and it's just mind-numbingly loud in the cab, you can put conceivably multiple resonator, quarter wave resonator tubes on your exhaust. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out. Uh, hopefully uh, you guys are gonna do this. If you do, jump on Instagram and tag me. Let me know uh, how it sounds and how it turned out. Um, use the link below to the Excel sheet and uh, any of the other parts that I've gotten uh,
for this project like the mandrel bend elbow that I ultimately took off. Um, I'll put that below if you wanted to build your own tube. Um, I'll give you guys kind of a short section of uh, tube and all the pieces and whatnot. I'll even link below the welder and plasma cutter that I've used in this project. Um, their budget, they're uh, only a couple hundred bucks each and they've been doing a lot of really cool stuff for me and uh, once I got them kind of dialed in the plasma I just turn on all the way and it just goes but um, for the welder had to dial that in a little bit and got it to the sweet spot and now I'm able to weld exhaust tube just fine and quarter inch plate all the V8 swap mounts that I do uh, for you guys as well so there you go um, but I'll give you guys a link for that and uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed and uh, catch you in the next one